In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to fix the phone number unavailable for iMessage and FaceTime issue. This video is designed to guide you through several straightforward and effective steps to get everything working smoothly once again. First things first, let's make sure your SIM card is functioning correctly. Double check that it's active and has cellular service. You might need to contact your carrier as they can confirm whether your phone is properly set up for SMS capabilities, which is essential since iMessage uses SMS to activate. If you're using an eSIM, ensure it's fully activated as this can often be a quick fix to the problem. Now let's take a look at your network connection. It's crucial that you're either connected to Wi-Fi or have your mobile data enabled. One of these needs to be active to ensure iMessage and FaceTime work correctly. A solid connection can often be the key to resolving these kinds of issues. Next, let's try restarting iMessage itself. Head over to your settings, then navigate to apps and tap on messages. Here, toggle iMessage off and then back on again. Give it a few moments to see if this simple action prompts it to start sending messages as expected. Often this little reset is all it takes to clear up any hangups with the service. Moving on, if toggling iMessage didn't do the trick, here's another tip for you. Try restarting your iPhone. Sometimes turning your device off and back on can solve a multitude of minor glitches and software hiccups. Then let's ensure your date and time settings are in order. Go to your settings, tap on general and then date and time. Make sure that the set automatically option is enabled. Incorrect date and time settings can often interfere with network based services like iMessage and FaceTime. If the issue persists, consider resetting your network settings. You can do this by going to settings, selecting general and then transfer or reset iPhone, followed by reset and finally reset network settings. Remember, this will reset your Wi-Fi and cellular settings, so you'll need to reconnect to any Wi-Fi networks you were using before. However, this step often clears up any hidden network related obstacles that might be affecting your iMessages. Finally, don't forget to check for iOS updates. Head into settings, click on general and tap software update. If there's an update available, install it. Often a quick software update can solve issues related to iMessage and FaceTime by fixing bugs and refreshing the system. By following these steps, you should be well on your way to resolving the phone number unavailable for iMessage and FaceTime error. Thanks for watching and I hope this has helped get your iMessage and FaceTime back in working order.